Hi, Magdy. Hello, Mark. Whoa. Hi. Uh, I think I got this figured, but I'll bet you have you may have more light to share. Um, what's been kicking around for this body mind is looking at the um, uh, uh, there's this the times when I'm around others, not right now, but I mean if I'm out somewhere, and uh, the conditioning is to see the differences. It's and um, it's that to see to see the differences, I yes. think, is my conditioning. And uh, I guess there's really nothing wrong with seeing the differences as long as the the true sense of identity is that there is a unity. I, I'm that's why I'm I'm kind of going to want to get your yeah. thoughts on this because I'm obviously not real clear. But there are times when, and I'll finish. Uh, with this question, there are times when uh, seeing the differences puts, you know, puts me at a separation, right? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, but there, but the, uh, the counter to that is that whatever my conditioning is tells me, well, you need to be afraid. If there's certain differences uh, between this body, mind, and others, then there's, a, then there's, a, you know, you need to be staying away and. And some of that is just probably practical common sense, dep you know, depending on, depending on what, what situation we're in. But, but I, I, I want to get closer to um, the sense that, that there's no, there's no diff there's no uh, separation. I guess that's, mm -hmm. if that made any sense, I think I'll stop there. <laughs> On a, on a certain level, uh, there are differences between body minds. Um, we come from different backgrounds and different family structures, different social strata. We have different uh, sensitivities and uh, different preferences and different political views and different uh, body bodies so there are you know, at that level there are differences so it's perfectly fine to, to see differences it would be unhealthy not to I mean you you know, you know there uh, it, it's important to uh, have clarity about what these differences refer to now, there are some differences that as, you know, may sometimes uh, affect us. If we have a neighbor who is extremely uh, right-wing or is extremely into Jesus and wants to convert you to you know, it's a pain in the butt, you know, every time you say hello to them, they want to convert you to their sector, their beliefs, and their ideas. Uh, the, the thing is, we know that there is one consciousness and we have like the base color is white, but this white color contains the entire rainbow of colors, billions, billions of shades of colors within the within the white color. If you run it through a prism, or when you see a rainbow, it's infinite colors. So the In life, we navigate based on the senses, and based on our intelligence, and also based on our understanding about consciousness. When we perceive ourselves to be a limited 
personal consciousness, we're also perceiving the other as having a limited personal consciousness. And we are immediately plunged into, into fear, worry, and concern, the sense of lack and fear of dying, fear of ending. As soon as we have some uh, identification, there is worry and concern because that which we are identified with is subject to time and space. So then there is worry and concern about that. If we're identifying with the body, with a particular mind set, mind belief, if we identify with a particular religion or a particular party, we are alienating ourselves from our true nature. We don't need to identify. We may have a lean towards a certain um, understanding about how the world, you know, the nicer world if we were all less focused on this on our own personal wealth, if we're more global in our in our thinking. We may have this this tendency within us, and it's a beautiful one. I agree. I I feel that way personally. But the world is as it is. It appears to you not as you wish it. It appears to you whichever way consciousness, whichever way you're creating it, whichever way it's 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 uh, it has it has a mystery in it. There is a lot of things we don't know. But we don't know them because it's more fun not to know. To, to be surprised, to be offended, you know. It's different. You, you can be offended without the sense of separation. Somebody can, can be uh, hurting a pet, you know, and it offends you, you know. Francis talks about the sense of outrage, you experience outrage and goodness. But this is not, this does not mean that, that we are experiencing separation. The sense of separation always relates to I am somebody. But in fact, you are not somebody. You are this aware presence that right now perceives this perception. But when you are somebody, then you're, you're worried about, okay, is my neighbor going to like me? Am I going to be, am, am I going to be safe in my relationship with, with this person or that person? In, am I going to be safe in this community? It's not that the community, there is an issue with the community. It could be a very safe community or it could be a very unsafe community, but that's not the point. The, the root cause of your sense of feeling unsafe or feeling separate is you somehow in this moment are overlooking that you are the invisible self. And somehow in this moment, you may be choosing that, okay, I am Mark, I am this person and I have a future, and I hope I have a happy future. I have a relationship with my neighbor. I, have a with, I hope I have good relationships and better relationships. So identify yourself with the body, with the body mind. In the absence of identifying yourself with the body mind, in the, in the absence of any identification, you are this peaceful presence. There is no separation. This does not mean that you don't interact in life in the same way. No, you, you, you know, some things will make you laugh. Some things will, will, will upset you. Some things will offend you. Some things you want to do and be part of. Some things you don't want anything to do with, you say. 
But that's that has nothing to do with separation. That has to do with differences, as you said, you know, there are some distinctions. And we have an intelligence and we have a tendency. Some people like to be in groups. And some people like to be alone. You know, some people like to knit. Other people, they, they have to go and play bingo with others. <laughs> These are, this is, this relate to the play of the body mind, how you feel, what triggers, what, what make, what you enjoy doing. But there is no fear in that. And if you think, okay, well, I will enjoy the company of this person, then you, you see the company of this person. You may enjoy it or you may find out, oh my goodness. It's a big mistake. I really don't enjoy this person after spending 10 minutes with them. Then you somehow wiggle your way out of, you know, out of the relationship. No, no skin. There is no skin. You left no skin or something, whatever the expression is. Yeah. So in terms of separation, it's always... I exist in time and space. I exist in time and space. But you don't exist in time and space. Time and space exist in you. It's in you. So, we don't have life figured out. Life is going to appear to us we don't know how. So we, we play it, you know, we don't know. If, if the ball is kicked that way, maybe we're going we're gonna to run and catch it. Maybe we, it's going to be too far from us and we're just going to let it go. We don't know how it's going to, to manifest. But and the moment that life manifests for us, in whichever way it appears to us, we do our best to relate from in the moment, hopefully, without defining ourselves, without making our happiness, our peace and happiness dependent on anything. Why would you? make yourself dependent on anything. Why would you make yourself, there's only one self, your true self, and you, why would you make you dependent on anything? Why? We know the body depends on food, on friendship, on uh, exercise. Okay, that's the body. I'm talking about you. Why would you make you subject to Oh my God, uh, will they like me? What are they going to think of me? Will I succeed in this? Will I not? No. No. You engage in life without making anything having power over you. You meaning consciousness, not you, the body. There's a lot of things that have power over the body. Heck, <laughs> you know. Uh, Somebody who is more muscular than me and have power over me and push me down to the ground. You know? <laughs> That's just at the body mind level, you see. Of course, I'm going to avoid such people. If I, if I know ahead of time, if somehow I detect ahead of time their malevolent intention, I, I'm going to avoid them. But maybe I won't detect you know, ahead of time and they will push me to the ground. I don't know. You know, so you're not the body mind, you're not subject to the world body mind. The world body mind is subject to the you know, body mind. And we enjoy this game. We enjoy life. 
as much as we complain about it, we enjoy it. We enjoy our sorrows, we enjoy our loneliness, we enjoy our happiness, we enjoy our depression, we enjoy our stories, we enjoy our complaining, we enjoy hanging out with friends. We enjoy what we are doing. Thank you. That was helpful.